So I appear to have what is a fake Tiny 85 chip that I purchased off of um, AliExpress. For all purposes, it looks identical to an authentic Tiny. Now, normally what I do when I get these chips in is I just make a mark on it using uh, liquid paper so I know where the front of it is. Just makes it a bit easier to put it into the device to do the programming. So this is a photo of the device as it came to me. It looks authentic. Uh, the Atmel on it is written on it. It says Tiny85 on it. It looks uh, almost identical to, a, or identical to an authentic chip. From what I understand is what they do is they take an old A Tiny or another MC that's similar as far as the footprint. And what they do is they scrape off the top and put on it um, the information about the new chip that they're selling. Uh, from what I understand, I, I can't guarantee that that's the case with this chip, uh, but that's what it looks like has happened. And the reason that I'm pretty confident that this is a fake chip, let me put it in the programmer here. And what happens is when I go to burn either the bootloader or upload a program, you can see here that the device signature is not matching what should be an ATiny85. It's saying that the ATiny that is in this is a 0x1e905. And when I do a search for this, what I came up with is the ATiny core programmer or library here. Uh, they wrote down that it's a scam chip, that it's probably an ATiny12 chip matching that signature. Now, to just prove that, in fact, uh, it's the chip and not my programmer, what I'm going to do is take out the fake A-Tiny. I'll put in an authentic one, or at least what I should say is a working one. This one may not be authentic as well, but at least it works. And this chip already has Blinky programmed onto it, but let me go ahead and run the... Uh, blinky but I'll go ahead and run the uploader here for blinky you can see that it's writing and if I scroll back up here we can see the device signature matches what should be an ATiny85 so that just confirms that the programmer is in fact working that there's no problem with the IDE that the only thing that it could be, or that it most likely is, is that this is in fact a counterfeit a tiny chip. So goes into the bag with the other defective ones. I'll go ahead and do a dispute over at AliExpress, and we'll see if I can get back the dollar that I paid for that MC.